then my hand here, which is my, so I can drive your ass off. So I'm here, all right, and weight is on the inside of my feet, all right, so I can push. So, uh, like, almost, I don't want to say pigeon, but um, my knees are in, and I want to be able to walk like this. And the reason for that is if I'm driving, he, he goes that way, now I can push off because my weight is on my inside. So if I gotta change direction, I can change quick with that, okay? I don't have to, uh, if I cheat, my head is looking down field, I'm looking down field. I'm not looking here, all right? If I look here, I'm gonna miss linebacker. All right, so that's just a form fit. So that's the first thing. Uh, I'm just gonna get used to here, being in that position. This is something we do, because we do, this is kind of the zone. If we could do also this way, where my hands are both inside, thumbs up, all right, thumbs up here, and I'm gonna drive. Same thing, two hands to the regular drive a lot. All right, but again, I wanna be able to keep my head up on this, all right. So we'll do that. Then uh, we'll come back here, set hit, one, two, and I'm gonna drop. So my second step here, one, two. I'm getting that second step down and drive. Okay. The reason being one hand is ideally you'll get a second guy, so we'll go two on one. So I'll be here and I'll have my partner here and we're both gonna drive. So we're gonna work on the double team. Do you guys love the double team? We don't have enough kids for double teaming. Pardon? We don't have enough kids. And go, you can do it on this. I use, this or is even a good thing for receivers too. I would do these drills with receivers. So receivers yeah. would come, so you're at the top of the board. So receivers would <clears> come and run, get right down. And, sorry. And, I, and receivers, this is running back, this is lineman, it's the same drill. You're here and you're just gonna drive small steps here. They gotta be small, choppy steps. Chopping their feet. Chopping their feet. Chopping their feet. Again, weight on the inside here. All right. They don't want it right there. With the receivers, I would start to start about, you know, you, so you'd have that the defender there in front of the, yeah, you know, those are, you can just use a long, you know, long uh, half round or whatever. I start about 15 yards back. So you can work everything in that drill. You can work all right, so you can work take off, boom. So they, you know, good get off the ball, you know. So they get off the ball, have them sprint for five, you know, sprint for ten. All right, sprint for ten, and it's about fifteen. And then that, after ten yards, then they got to start breaking it down. They got to get under control because you don't want to just fly at this guy, you know, totally out of control. So I'm going to sprint for ten, then I chop, 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 chop. Then I get into him, and now, now we're going to get into it's those little steps. Take that from you know, you can work multiple things with that. You can work your stance, you know, your push off, your start, sprint. Then they got you got to have a breakdown, you got to break down on that defender. Otherwise, if they just fly right down, they're not going to make the block. So, we'll do and then again, it's going to be running back, it's going to be receivers, it's going to be linemen, linemen going for linebacker. Uh, I'll have you know, I'll stand back there, I get some receivers, and I would tell this guy. Uh, so as I'm as I'm coming up, he's gonna go. Now I gotta adjust to his movement because well, the defense isn't gonna stand there and let you block him. So you're coming up and then he's going the direction I gotta well, you gotta come to balance. You gotta yeah. come to balance and that's, that's, right there to that's why especially as a lineman, I'm small choppy stuff so I can push and change direction quick with that. Alright. So we'll add that on. So you can do that that progression of drive, uh, step, couple steps drive, two steps uh, on the back, and then use the board uh, and drive, or have them at the end of the board, top drive, and then lastly have the direction, change of direction with that. So that is, those are some drills that, we, that you can do with that. You said reach, you guys want to reach. so. Uh, a, a fun drill, I like, I you know our guys do this a lot, is um, he'll be in front, uh, I'll, be he, or I'll be here, he 
he's a little bit in front of me, and then we're racing, literally racing. Now you can do it where he's cheating and he's in front. You can do it where you're even. There's two ways to do it. You can say, I'm on offense, he's on defense, and we're just gonna sprint, and I gotta get this hand here, I gotta get here to turn. That's my goal. If I can't, obviously I don't want to hit him back. If I can't, and he turns on me, and I, I can't turn him, then I'll just continue to take his momentum out that way. So the running back then will cut off that. Ideally, I want to reach him. I want to cut, so, or turn back in. So we hear him set, go, I'm flying, and I'm trying to get this hand here, and I'm going to turn. And it's a race. So you can do it two ways. The second way you can do it is we're, we're both offense. And I like this one actually better, so you can put that down. We're both offense, and we're going. I'm trying to reach him, he's trying to reach me. And whoever's faster is going to be the guy who, who reaches. So it puts a little competition in it. All right, so you guys have, you said you do that with, so that'd be a good, a good drill is we're just flying like crazy, and I'm trying to reach, and he's trying to reach me. Uh, so with that, um, step-wise, uh, it's just, I mean, I'm just gonna open, I'm gonna punch. I'm punching, I'm going. All right, do you guys pull with mine? We're gonna pull centers this year on like a boot. So there's, two, there's two ways I would teach that. Uh, you have your, your conventional here, drop, you know, I'm going to rip and kick out. What we do if we're pulling on a boot is we do a wrap pull. So yep. I'm pulling this way. I'm, it's not hard to do, but I think they, you, the, you guys could do this. Um, is I'm going to drop this foot and it's a skip. It's like here and I'm like skipping. There's different ways that you can do this. Uh, I was actually just watching uh, a, a coach. Uh, Farrell College, but he said they, their, their one kid had a hard time doing this, so he just, he just opened and ran. But the key here is you want to keep your shoulders square to my scrimmage. I don't want to do this. So you can either drop and skip, and I'm running like this. All right, so I'm always looking at linebackers. If that's hard, they could open or drop this foot and open and cross over, and, but the key is I'm keeping my shoulders square, I'm not doing this. So that's uh, the two ways. So real fast, the, I'm here, I'm going to this. So it's not hard, I'm going back, I'm dropping my opposite foot, and going, and I'm pulling. So I don't know how far you would be pulling that coming. It's such a short ad, Jamie, that's coming, like, yeah. yeah. So it it's could quick. be a quick, you know, if, if Dan's right here, and I'm only pulling one guy, if he's my, he's my another lineman, I mean, it could be here. Yeah. Instead of, what I, I just think this is, if I'm not kicking out. This could be this a pull, like logging. Pardon? We're gonna like log on a boot. Yeah, if you're not kicking out, just be like a full log. Okay, full seal, so, yeah. you know, that, this is too hard. You know, because I'm doing that, and that's, I, I, I don't think they did very well. So, I like that skip. It's, not, it's the back foot that goes. So, um, and you can keep the shoulder square. That's the big one on that. Um, other things for the offensive line. And as John said, the more footwork you do, the better. Um, you can do uh, set up cones and just do. Simple, where I used to do this. I should come back and do this. This is a bitch. Um, if they knock over a cone, they have to start over. Um, but they have to, so they're here now, but going fast, doing this. And then you ladder it. So here, just that constant. Movement of feet uh, here, come back here, come back. Actually, all the play the kids can do, but lining especially. Um, I was going to say that you're just recording, especially at the young age. I mean, the training position, like you were saying, the ladder drills, we get 
a couple ladders. You can get start working those into like your warm ups. Yeah. Um, and just to get extra footwork in, but there's one just for like specific pulling, right? You know, you, it's like a version of like the uh, the AP shuffle, but you have one where you can basically go backwards. Okay? It, it gets you used to move flipping your hips. Okay, so for defenders, but even just offensively, you know, specific to the offensive line, like you're saying, I think the, the ladder drills for, for young kids is, you know, it translates in every position. So, so young kids got to understand it. it's got to be like that rapid fire. You know, get those feet going, boom, 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 yeah. because they all want to take that big, giant step. Oh, my God, I take that big, giant step, that guy's locked on me, I'm done. I have no leverage, I have no strength. It's getting in and watch, you know. When you have time where you're off the field, so like that, you show up the film, well, you know, college kid, you know, or a uh, professional offensive lineman, just key in on watching, watching those feet, watch those guys, watch those guys in drills, pull through drill tapes, and just watch how they, they it's, it's just rapid fire. Those kids just don't understand that they don't get that. So they want to just go, even at our level, they want to do that. They got to get down, get down, get down. If we could get three years of that now, by the time we get to seventh grade, that's, we, want, we want to have this so we're all, it's all in sync. Um, yeah. the quarterbacks, like the quarterback things I've been doing on Saturdays. Um, so what I've been this 